Hi, welcome back everyone. How's everyone doing? However you're feeling, I hope you're spreading good vibes. In case you're new, my name is Antonio. I'm a therapeutically qualified optometrist practicing in Australia. And the purpose of this channel is to provide you with informative content. So if you enjoy learning visually with high quality content with a health professional, then hitting subscribe would probably be of value to you. If not, then I'm just happy you're hanging out. The other day I had a patient who was new to contact lenses. She was asking me what sort of solutions she should be using. And this is what inspired me to make this video. Whenever I go to the pharmacy, I'm always surprised at the number of different contact lens solutions you can buy. And sometimes it can be overwhelming because these pharmaceutical companies can bombard you with statements such as all day comfort and extreme moisture and things like that. So today we'll be talking about number one, what type of solutions are available in the market. Number two, what solution is used for what purpose. And three, how you should be using them. Let's begin. If you are a daily disposable contact lens wearer, then what I'm about to say might not mean anything to you. And besides, daily disposable lenses come with their own solution in their packaging anyway. With the solution, you can rinse your lenses if you feel that the lenses you just put in is not feeling quite right. And doing this will get rid of dust and sand and oils that might be on your lens. If you wear contact lenses very frequently, however, you might save some money by using some reusable lenses. And there are mainly two different options. One is a fortnightly lens and another is a monthly lens. Fortnightly lenses you would wear for two weeks and replace. And likewise, with monthly lenses, you would use them for a month and then replace them. For those who use reusable lenses, however, which solution to use to condition the lenses becomes extremely crucial. I encounter several people in the clinic who either use the wrong solution or just use tap water to store their contact lenses in. For the record, if you use tap water to clean your lenses, there's a very high chance that your optometrist will dislike you. So remember, never ever clean your lenses with tap water. For remote areas with untreated water, this can attract a microbe called acanthamoeba, which is a nasty little bug to have in your eyes, and it may potentially even make you go blind, so it's never worth the risk. For the majority of the population, the contact lens solution you are after is the multi-purpose solution. With this solution, you can store, clean and rinse your lenses. Cleaning with a multi-purpose solution will eliminate most microbes living on your lens. However, disinfecting these lenses are not the same as fully sterilizing them. But more on that later. For now, feel free to use the solution at the end of the day when you take your lenses out and when you're storing them. And when you want to use the lenses again, take the lens out and always empty the case. Multi-purpose solutions usually contain a very, very small dose of an antimicrobial and antifungal preservative, mostly targeted towards bugs that can cause eye-related issues. The dosages in these solutions are minuscule, and so in most cases, it won't do anything to the eyes. However, every eye is different, and I've seen some people who are even allergic to these solutions in which case you could either try a different solution from a different brand, go on to daily contact lens wear, or even use a peroxide based solution. I sometimes get shocked when I ask patients what sort of solution they're using for contact lenses and they say, oh, you know, your basic saline solution. Um, okay, well, first of all, you shouldn't be using saline to store your lenses. As a reference, if you're using this solution to store your lenses, then you should probably stop doing that. I find this packaging to be particularly misleading as it says sterile rinsing solution. It means that the solution inside the bottle itself is sterile and not the lens after you rinse them. Saline solutions come in handy, however, if you get any dust or sand on them, but you should never ever store your lenses in this solution. We've looked at both rinsing saline solution and multi-purpose solution. With both of these, you can rinse your lenses. However, for storing, you can only use multi-purpose solution. However, there is another type of solution that you can get in the market called a peroxide-based solution. These bottles will usually present with a red cap. And if there's anything that our intuition tells us, it's that red means danger. 
so you should never put these in your eyes directly. Otherwise, you may feel the true sensation of a burning eye. From high school level chemistry, we know that hydrogen peroxide is both a reductant and an oxidant. But for the purpose of contact lenses, these solutions are a very powerful oxidant. The peroxide, which is the double oxygen component, will cause serious damage to proteins, lipids, and DNA, basically killing all living structures that come into prolonged contact with it. Putting this in your eyes is never a good idea, but with the help of this grey structure, you can leave them in for at least 6 hours before reusing your lenses. 6 hours is usually the time it takes for the hydrogen peroxide to fully neutralise itself into water and oxygen, so after that time period, whatever's left inside that bottle is pure water. I generally recommend peroxide-based solutions for people to store them overnight, unless you just really hate sleep and don't sleep for more than 6 hours. If you take your lenses out before the 6 hours, there's a very good chance that there will be some residual hydrogen peroxide left, which will not bode well for your cornea. Wait, if there are multi-purpose solutions that basically do the same thing as peroxide-based solutions, and are cheaper, then why in the world would I use a peroxide-based solution over a multi-purpose solution? Well, that's a good question. Remember, multi-purpose solutions contain preservatives, which its function is to inhibit bacterial growth. However, some bacteria are really smart, and they can create a biofilm, which is impenetrable to this preservative. And this is why optometrists sometimes recommend that you clean your lenses or your case with the solution with your fingers, otherwise it may not break down this film. Another thing that multipurpose solutions may not be good at is breaking down protein deposits. Wearing the lenses in your eyes over time will make it prone to attract proteins that are in your tear film. The aim of the contact lens is to attract water so that it feels hydrated. When the lens sits on your eye, it's floating about within the tear layer, which is made up of oils, water, mucus, and proteins. Over time, the contact lens can develop areas of dryness, which will, in fact, attract proteins, which will also attract lipids. Lipids themselves are hydrophobic in nature, so they will repel water. And when it repels water, that's when the lens feels very, very dry. Peroxide-based solutions are very good at breaking down these protein deposits as it constantly oxidizes them. So, if you feel that your lenses start feeling a little bit uncomfortable after a few weeks, then considering a hydrogen peroxide-based solution may be the answer. And nowadays, hydrogen peroxide solutions such as Aosept contain what they call the hydroglide technology, which is when it conditions the lens as well as cleaning them. There's a very fine line between the best conditioning solution and the most convenient solution. And at this point, it'll boil down to personal preference. If you're ever unsure of which solution is the best one for you, then your local optometrist will probably have the answer. From my personal experience, I find that most people prefer convenience over the potent hydrogen peroxide solution as it allows patients to be more flexible with their lens wear as they don't have to wait 6 hours every time when they store the lenses in multi-purpose solution. So to summarize, we've looked at 3 different solutions people generally use for contact lenses. Firstly, it was the rinsing saline solution. They're very good at rinsing the lenses, however, these should never be used for storage and cleaning. Secondly, we also looked at multi-purpose solution. It contains a very mild dose of antibacterial and antifungal disinfectants, and they can be used for rinsing, storing, and cleaning. And lastly, we looked at the peroxide-based solution, which contains hydrogen peroxide, which is very good at breaking down proteins and lipid buildup. If you want me to cover a very particular section of this video, then feel free to comment down below. I'll try my best to answer them. Again, leaving a like or pressing subscribe will allow the YouTube algorithm know that my work is worth viewing. It won't cost you money, and if anything, you'll probably learn a lot from this channel, I guarantee it. But regardless, if you learned something new, or at least found something useful, then yay, thumbs up to you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.